So should make a, a straightforward tenor on that. Um, the obligatory Blu-ray player. I replaced the batteries myself. Hello, welcome to the video. It's the hottest day of the year, again, again. I mean, it is for me. I don't know whether technically it's the hottest day of the year. Um, it's Tuesday the 19th of July. This is Sunday's car boot haul. I didn't show it yesterday, like I normally do, because there was a power cut in the middle of the, well, from the early afternoon to like 6.30 at night. So it's Tuesday and I've got a big pile of stuff, but I've turned the fan off because it was really loud. So I might have to do this in two sections because it's getting so hot in here. I've literally just had a, um, a wash to cool down and I'm sweltering already. So I'm going to start with the first thing I bought on Sunday and I'll make space as I go and see how I get on. But I'll probably have to stop, cool down, got my glass of ice water. Absolutely necessary in this weather. If you're not hydrating, go and get one now and then watch the rest of the video sipping your water. Uh, there again, it probably, uh, no, it won't be. It's only going to be a day or so, this one. Right. Sony Hi-Fi bookshelf Hi-Fi tape player. Opens out the front. CD player. There you go. And radio. There is um, a sort of FM radio aerial attached. There's no AM radio. Fair enough. There's a space to put one, I think. Or oh, that's just FM, I think. Uh, with a plug. So that's on the floor. Two speakers that go with it and the remote, which if I point it at you, you might see it lighting up. I've just put some new drawer cells in there and it's working fine. Um, that was four pounds, first pickup. Quite pleased with that. Um, the speakers are not the type where the grills come off and there's really nice fancy looking speakers inside. So they're not going to fetch as much. The whole system is probably going to be £30, maybe even £30, £34 delivered. Not a lot. But considering um, these go for about £16, it's surprising how cheap the system is on top of the remote. Um, right. While I've got you uh, excited about things, I've got these. These are uh, lightsabers. Again, I'm... these are 2016 and possibly 2012, 2015. Um, if the um, sound gets flagged for uh, copyright by uh, Lucasfilm or Disney or somebody, I'll have to edit the, that, that sound out. So I'm going to repeat myself. These are 2016 uh, Builder um, blade, which means you can add your own bits on the bottom. These bits here that flick out and everything, those are additional bits. The main handset stops there or there, there, and this bit's extra. So they're a pound each and should sell for at least 10 or 12 pounds, maybe more each on top, um, with postage on top, with postage on top. Um, yeah, I'm going to hold up some representative item because I couldn't possibly lift that like that with one hand but it's basically what was inside is what I'm showing you. I bought this for four pounds. Um, it's a Breville one hot cup or one cup um, sort of boiler. It's the lady says everything's working perfectly but it doesn't have the filter. It's 
meant to have a Brita filter sort of cartridge assembly that fits in the back. Um, there's a sort of attachment where the, the cartridge fits and then the cartridge. Well, the attachment to put the cartridge in is missing. I didn't know that at the time. I just looked at it. Um, it was still wet. She just literally pulled it out of the kitchen, um, which was annoying when I came to unload it because I got water all over the front. Doesn't matter. Um, I wiped it up. Anyway, four pounds. There we go. Um, I've been meaning to get another one of those. I used to have one, not that fancy version, the one where it literally just poured water until you stopped it. That, you can adjust the size of the cup. Very clever. Oh, that's nice. Right, onwards. Um, I got this at the first car boot. It's a cast iron, really heavy, um, oval casserole. And uh, this might be a bit dirty looking. It's not bad at all inside. A few chips on the uh, paintwork on the outside and a couple on the lid. There we go. Interior is fine um, and it's 4.7 litres. Bernadies, B-E-R-N-D-E-S. Never heard of them before, but it turns out they're quite, quite a big name in casseroles with a, with a, a very expensive um, lining casseroles. So I'm not sure what that's going to go for. It's heavy, you know, a 4.7 litre cast iron casserole. It's heavy. That's going to be five kilos on its own. Probably a five to ten kilo passage, um, parcel, which makes it a tenner to deliver. So I'm not sure, but it cost me two pounds, which uh, I was very pleased with. Um, I'm doing all the big stuff first, if you haven't noticed, so that I can uh, wheedle them down off the table when I come to uh, take my uh, break. And the fan on, wash my face, because five minutes of this, ten minutes of this, and are you going to have to do that? Right. Um, this was also there, the first car boot. Quite nice. Um, it's... EH leather suitcase. It's a bit, a bit worn, a bit uh, broken around the edges, and it's got these catches that keep it close. Sprung up, difficult to shut. Nice lining, if you can see that. Nice lining, but once you've opened it, uh, it's quite difficult to shut again. There we are. One, two, yeah, pretty difficult. Um, but that was four pounds, and I've seen lots of them like props in shops for expensive. I'm not sure how much, but um, I, I feel I've got a good deal there. Uh, the other big thing that's really quite big. Um, I bought some, well, you know, recently, the last few videos, but one, um, I had some plastic train sets um, and wooden train sets, actually, very cheap. Um, so I did it again. I'm not sure I got such a good deal this time, and I'll show you why. It's called Chuggington, and everyone will say, oh, Chuggington, oh, yeah, it's got to be good. There you go. And it's a lot. A chugging some. There we go. There's a train wash, a sort of lift thing, the station, uh, there's a dozen trains, a couple of them are broken. And this one was actually making noise because I've replaced the batteries. Um, 
I replaced the batteries or tried to on about eight of them. There's about 15 in there, uh, trains and carriages that have batteries. And of at least half of them, it's all fed up. So they either need cleaning out and testing again or not. The ones that are not fed up that I took the batteries out, couldn't get them started again, couldn't get them working. Um, it seems that they, maybe it's possibly the batteries that I'm using with the Duracells, the, the knobs on the ends are a bit tight maybe. They have this sort of very tight uh, way of interacting with the battery and the positive has got to fit into the plastic before it hits the metal. So, I don't know. Um, so this one, the batteries are corroded. This one, the batteries are corroded. Whoa. This one, the batteries are corroded. No, sorry, this one, the batteries weren't corroded. I changed them and it didn't make any difference. It doesn't work. This one, I haven't even looked at yet. There's at least 60 or 70 pieces of track and some more pieces of, I don't know what you'd call this, furniture for around the track. That lot cost me £12. Um, I offered a 10, she offered me 15, I offered a 10, came to 12 between us and I'm sure if the trains had been working great, um, I didn't even know they were interactive, um, then yeah, that'd be worth a fortune if the trains are working. Currently, I haven't got one working, except for that one piece that made a noise when I pulled it out then. Um, so I think I might have created a, a rod for my own back, let's put it that way. It's a lot of work involved in getting that to a mediocre level. And when you look at the pricing, it is pretty mediocre actually. It's not like Thomas, whereas if it's in good condition, the Thomas just snaps your hand off. Everybody wants it. This, although people want it, they don't want to pay a fortune for it the same way that Thomas people will buy Thomas stuff. Okay, right. Let me take a quick break. Remove some of the stuff off the table and then I'll be back. Right. Um, more games. Did I show games, I did. Well, I showed those um, lightsabers, didn't I? Downfall, it's a bit mucky, um, but it's a 1977, no it's a 1970 this one, one corner broken of the box, um, everything's there, could do with a clean, um, last one of these with the 70s version um, I bought, I bought it exactly looking like that, I've taken this out and one of the cogs was broken. As it is, I had a 1992 version last week and just replaced the interior and all the plastic bits with that and put the 1992 lid on it. Perfect. So that was a square one. This is a long box, which is worth more for some reason, even though full of little plastic bits. They've Thankfully, put them all in a little box, and um, yeah. Although this is dirty as anything, um, it's got all these little plastic feet, and the interior is nice, and the lid's got all the rules on. So there's a. Towards winter, 25. Right now, probably only 15. Cost me £2.50 that. Um, same stall. I got this. Goodman's Discman. Compact display. GCD 15. And yes, it is brand new in the box. And it's got a cardboard box. It's not branded 
box. What it's been is a brown cardboard box. There's a cover for this. Then it goes into the brown cardboard box. And then there's been a slip over the top. You know, a, pay, a cardboard slip to go straight over it. And that's missing. So it's just a brown cardboard box, no branding on. It's not, I'm not bothered. I'll be selling it uh, as brand new. And that cost three pounds. Yeah, three pounds. Because what happened was I bought this for two pound fifty, and they wanted three pound for that, and I said no, two fifty. And it didn't have the headphones with it. But as he was trying to get the change for the downfall, I found the headphones on the stall, and he was stuck with his fifty pences. So I just said to him, I'll add another fifty pence on. So yeah, that cost three pounds. No problem. Um, I'm thinking 15 or 20 on that easily because it's brand new. Uh, I've got a BT everyday phone. It's basically brand new as well in its box. Um, it was a bit uh, bedraggled inside. Everything was out of the bag as though somebody ripped it out of the bags to look at it and then shoved it all back in the box. Any old how. But when I came to look at it, the tag that pulls the batteries was still intact. The um, uh, the phone line was still intact. Uh, all of its little zigzag with a little tie wrapped around it. Uh, so I've used my own phone line to test it. I had to use the charger to test it because it's a different ch size charger. Um, it plugged in, charged up without any trouble and I believe that cost me, that was two pounds. Um, yeah, pretty good that. Uh, something else that was two pounds, we superchargers, there you go, two pounds. Um, it's got a portal of power. It's got well, that's what I thought when I looked at it, but unfortunately, it doesn't have a disc, which is a bit annoying. So that's the Superchargers disc to go with the Superchargers game. Now it should have had, I think, four characters in, but actually there's about 15, um, which is great, because obviously they went been out and bought some extras. This one, sells for about 12 to 15 on its own. It's a dark version. Somehow, for some reason, the dark versions, the evil ones, um, are more popular than, say, for instance, Bowser. Although, um, he's a baddie in Mario. He was like, sort of, rehabilitated. Um, and there's all sorts of like cars and a couple of other characters that are interested. This one. Uh, I've got others to sell actually. I've got to list them all, either individually or in pairs. These, they go like a car and a character together um, to make it into a sort of racing game. And yeah, there's about. 25 quid's worth of characters in there when I price them up individually. So, not bad for two pounds. And, of course, it's got this. So I could still sell the whole thing together if I had the game, which I don't have this game for Wii. Skylanders. Superchargers. So, yeah, I'll be splitting the characters out and selling them separately instead. Um, I'm working my way through this lot. I did actually buy a Skylanders Wii game on another stall. Skylanders Spyro's Adventure. That was a pound. Yeah, a pound. Which isn't bad, really. Um, and the disc's really clean. That's why I bought it for a pound. Otherwise, I wouldn't be looking for a pound these days on Wii games anymore. Most of the time with PS3 games, um, I... I won't spend more than a pound on them. 
if you go and you look at CEX, uh, they're, they're buying them in for a penny to 10 pence. So they know what they're doing. I know what they're doing. And they're selling them off at the store in the shop for, with like guarantees that they work for a pound. So why would I sell them on eBay for like eight pounds unless they're one of the ones that they're selling for expensive? Well, these two aren't. So this one was one pound fifty at CEX. This one was one pound fifty at CEX. The guy was offering me half the CEX price, the selling price that's on the front. Um, what he didn't know was this one is an American. Um, it doesn't have the. Uh, the manual but it's time crisis 4 and that should cover all of them and those two cost me one pound fifty between them so I can't grumble really um right that's enough video games um as I said to you last week's was well if you saw my last video yesterday's video last week's was two big boxes of video games one from one person and then the other box was a combination of about four different buys from around the car boots of video games. And then a big bag full of cameras, which were all bought separately as well. Uh, and a couple of like small electricals. So um, it's just not worth my while digging through what I've already listed to show you, quite honestly. So I'm not going to. Um, right, I think... Uh, I've got through all the video games and things. Now it is back to electricals that, you know, you obviously come to watch. <laughs> that was my coaster going west. Okay, first electrical. Lava lamp. It's not hot. I've had it running though. There's the wax in the bottom. There's that and it's got a lamp in it. And a little hat for itself. Um, it's got this sort of violet water and um, bright red uh, wax. Quite nice, two pounds. Um, won't fetch a lot because they're selling that design for like 15, 16 quid delivered on eBay from China. Or not from China, it's all Chinese firms that are selling it. That's what I meant. So, Probably £10 plus postage. Talking about £10 plus postage. Well, I've had more than that from these recently. This is the same one that I've sold twice in the last uh, month. And I picked it up again. Um, I can tell you how much it was. £2, no remote. So I'm going to have to buy another remote again for the same machine. I said to you, I'm going to have to start buying them in bulk. Well, they're about £6.50 to £7 for this particular machine. I know that now. Um, yeah, I actually have the software now. Or the, the sheet. The, uh, it's like a disc you put in. To make these into um, multi-region. It doesn't do the Blu-ray multi-region. It does the DVD multi-region. Um, you just put them in, play it, and it stops, and you eject it, and then the machine's multi-region. Pretty impressive. It's just basically the same sort of thing you'd get on one of these code um, remotes to, the, to hack it, but on a disc. And yeah, so I paid so much for that disc. I think it was £10. It might have been only £8. I can't remember. And I've done three ups now. Um, and this is one of the ones that it will do. Once I've got the remote, I'll do the DVD uh, into a multi-region, sell it as that. I should get an extra £10 easily. From what I was getting, I was getting, for those, about £25, I think. Not certain of that. Um, grow clock. Always popular, these. As long as you get them at the right price. The previous one I bought was £3.50 and I sold it for something like £11. Well, this one was more like the price I like to pay. This one was 
one pound fifty. So should make a, a straightforward tenner on that before fees. Um, and these are you plug them in, take a light, take a shot with them in orange, take a shot with them in blue. People know they're working, and away it goes. And I mean literally, away it goes within the week every time. Uh, every time I sell one, I sell it inside the week. Black wee, anybody? It's got the flaps as well. I have a black wee under there, which matches all my other black consoles, um, which makes sense. But it doesn't have the flaps on the side. It's one of those that sits like that. It's a version two. So I may keep this pending and transfer stuff off that one onto this one and then keep this and then I could have it vertical or horizontal with this one but also I can play GameCube games on it with the controller that I'd keep um, I'm not sure but either way it was £8 with all the wires the only thing it doesn't have is the controller a black controller is missing um, but eight pounds so I wasn't gonna grumble okay. there's a wire that's not anything to do with it there that is a sky power line which brings me neatly to the next thing um, some sky things That's something to do with it. These two, that Sky power line, these two Sky pieces and two remotes. Um, that one's got no back on it. It's okay. I'll tell you why in a minute. That is the standard remote. And this is the sort of move it about like a mouse remote. Can you see that? These are work, these work on Bluetooth. They don't have an infrared. Um, this is a room box. This is a an EM150, which is the extension box for your main box. So you can have it in another room and watch TV in another room. Uh, it does everything actually. It does all the same stuff, but it's smaller. Um, the recordings, if you want to record on this, you can. But the recording happens on the main box but you can still set up a recording on this it happens in the main box anyway these are going for currently they're going for 60 quid when i started with these last year they were 120 quid with a remote and a power supply which is just a cable yeah this i sold one of these about a month ago showed it to you it already sold when i showed you it this is a 1995 sale with a with a power supply. You can have a LAN cable and plug it into your LAN if you want, but it's basically just a Wi-Fi extender for skyboxes uh, to go halfway between your LAN and your room box if it needs it. If it needs it, that's what these are. Anyway, 60 quid, 20 quid. Um, it'll need one remote with it and then there's another remote with no back so that lot cost me a fiver and I should be reach, easily reach £80 between the two of them uh, let's put that there push it forward in a minute and the reason I'm not concerned about that one with the back or no back rather is because I've got another two um, this one's a voice remote, you press the vo voice remote and there's a microphone there and that you can speak into it, recognises your voice, not this, the, the box itself, the SCAR system and that's, um, they, these are about 8 to 10 quid each return, um, sent from China and I got these for a quid each but one of them will go with that box if it needs it. If not, the next box will get along. I've got two spares, which uh, 
is well worth it. Hard drive, it's a pink one with LEDs. Um, it doesn't have a power adapter, but it's a five volts and a mini USB. So you might say it's a, it's a generation ago on the hard drives. 320 gig though, um, it's probably only USB 2, if that, might even be one, 1. But if it doesn't work right, I'll rip it apart and I'll put a hard drive in one of my PS3s. Pound, it cost a pound. Um, this cost more than that, this was a fiver. And this one's Western Digital, WD Play. And it's got all the, all the fronts covered in plastic like it's never been used, or rather, when you peel it off, it'll look really nice. It's got power supply, it's got HDMI, USB, mini USB. Uh, what do they call this? Right and left and, all, and video. Um, composite, isn't it? No, it's component video. And it's got an air fan. So, what is it? It says WD Elements Play, and I think it's a media center. I don't know. What I do know is it's heavy enough that I know there's a hard drive in it. And WD, they're known for the hard drives. So, I paid a fiver. It doesn't say how big the hard drive would be. But if it's a media center, it should be big, fairly big. If it's one of the things that records what you want and then keeps it until you want to play it it might be two terabyte it might be five terabyte i don't know it came from a clearance guy said how much she said a fiver i thought about it and i think yeah all right then i'll have it so that's a bit up in the air so i bought a nintendo ds with a charger um I actually saw this last week that the guy wanted six pound and I pointed out that it was broken. Um, turn it on. The main screen, touch screen's fine. The uh, top screen's all damaged. There's actually no scratching on the screen itself. All this main screen, the touch screen, it's got one of those um, styluses. It's got the cover for the Game Boy accessory port and it's got a mains charger. So I asked him again this week how much he wanted and he said £2.50 this week. Last week he wanted six or seven quid, six quid I think. Um, so yeah, £2.50 this time. So I took that mainly because I've done these before transferring the screen over to a new case because I've recased these. Well the case on this one is lovely, lovely and clean and shiny and black. Uh, you know sort of black onyx I think they call this. Anyway transferring the screen over to a new case is exactly the same as putting a new screen into an old case obviously. Um, and I have done uh, versions of this that actually cost me more than this one. So you could call this donor, um, I'm going to put everything except the screen, if you see what I mean, and just use the screen out of one of my donor ones. I've got a pink one where the hinge is all snapped. Um, and it's dirty. This is real clean. And I give it a good clean inside as well when I take it all apart. But even if it takes, say, half an hour, three quarters of an hour, possibly an hour, from £2.50 to £35, um, yeah. Um, I sold one with a 199 charge cable and two games for £35 last week. Um, £35, £34.95 plus delivery. With this added in and maybe another game on top, maybe brain training, um, I could get 35 easily with the, with the screen repaired. Right, um, two more things. Controller, 360 controller. 
um, it works. Um, I haven't tested whether the, the uh, you know, the controllers are drifting or anything, but they seem pretty safe and steady. Um, and it's all clean in the back. I put these batteries in. It had batteries in, but they were flat. Um, yeah, nice. And then I also got an Xbox, not an Xbox, a PS3. Um, he absolutely guaranteed me this works. <laughs> and then he sold me it for a tenner. So I knew it didn't work. And one of the things that sort of gave it away was this drive went in this hole like it shoved it in sideways and pushed it in with his finger to sort of hang from the electricals. It should have a caddy and then screw in. There is no caddy, there's no screw in and there's no cover. So I'm thinking, there's no way it's working properly. Otherwise, you'd have had a proper caddy for it. Anyway, um, I'll get it out eventually. It's a 320 gig hard drive and the PlayStation, it looks nice enough. Um, but yeah, when I tested it, yellow light of death, which is fine. Um, it came with a controller, some USB cables and a headset, which I don't think goes to that. I think this is a PC headset. It's got a USB and it's got a speaker cable. And the, the choices are game volume and chat volume. This smells of that sweetness that you get from kids spewing up and dogs. It's covered in dirt and dust and little bits of hair and it's PC and it's going in a bin and I won't even clean it. Right, um, yeah, the PlayStation 3, I've actually recently bought and had delivered this weekend uh, a, a hot air and soldering station from Amazon. Jeff Bezos happily sent me it. It was actually a different company. I'd rather use the small companies that are selling on their marketplace, I used to be one of them, um, than the Amazon versions. And even if it costs a quid more, I'll buy it from them. Um, if it costs five pound more, I might think about it. Anyway, I've got, I think I've got six now PlayStations that are red, sorry, yellow, light of death. I got a bit mixed up yesterday when I was doing the video. It's yellow light of death. Red ring of death is the Xbox 360. Yellow light of death is the PlayStation 3. Anyway, that's your what. Um, I'll do some mathematics. It's going to go one way or the other here. Um, some things like that hard drive. If I decide to rip it open and find out what hard drive's inside, then I'll only charge the second hand price of a hard drive with fees and postages and all that's off the top leaving me profit at the bottom or profit at the bottom depending on which side i put it all i can say is it's been hot i've been sticky um and i'm hoping to put the fan back on and get some tea i shall say thank you for watching Putting up with my uh, video editing skills or, or lack of them, and share, interact, communitize. Is that a word? Be part of the community by interacting below the video. Share it with your friends and like in order for the uh, algorithm to like me.